for the first problem, we have 10.64 and 10.81. So let's take a look at these two decimals. I'm going to make sure they're lined up. Two. 10.64, 10.81. Like normal, like I told you, I always start off by covering my decimals and checking my whole numbers first. If I do that, I see that we have 10 and 10. That doesn't really tell me which one's bigger, which one's smaller. They're equal. So I go to my decimals, I have 64. And 81. Here's where I can see a difference, and I can tell which one is bigger. 81 is bigger than 64. So, the symbol I should have used should look like this. And my sentence should say 10.64 is smaller than 10.81. If you use the word less, that's okay too. So smaller or less, either one is okay in that sense. My next problem is 0 0.5 and 0 0.27. And I'm going to make sure my decimals are lined up. 0 0.5, 0 0.27. Twenty-seven. I can see that I have a blank space here. If I have a blank space, then I need to make sure that I put a zero in that blank space. I don't want it to leave it blank, but I also don't want to use a number that would mess up or change my decimal. I want my decimal to stay the same. Again, I'm going to go ahead start by covering up my decimals. I'm going to look only at the whole numbers. 0 and 0. Can't tell a difference there. My decimals are 50, 27. Here I can see a difference. 50 is bigger than 27. So I know that this is my bigger decimal. So my symbol should look like this. And my sentence should say 0 0.5 is bigger than 0 0.27. If you use the word greater instead of bigger, that's also OK. Problem 3, 0 0.43, 0 0.68. Again, I'm going to make sure that my decimals are lined up. 0 0.43, 0 0.68. Bella, make sure you're paying attention. Again, always start by covering the decimals and looking at the whole numbers. Zero and zero. No differences there. If I look at my decimals, here's my difference. 43, 68. 68 is the bigger number. My symbol should look like this. And my sentence should be 0 0.43 is less, or I could use smaller, than 0 0.68. Okay. 
Last problem, 10.3, 10.26. Let me line up decimals. 10.3, 10.26. Again, I see that I have a blank spot. I'm gonna fill in that blank spot with a zero. I'm gonna use my hand, cover up my decimals. 10 and 10. Those two numbers are equal. I can't see a difference. If I uncover my decimals, I have 30 and 26. They're pretty close. 30 is bigger. So my symbol should look like that. And my sentence should be 10.3 is greater or bigger than 10.26. That was our homework page from last night, those four problems.